Pro Wrestling's We Want Candy 2024 is in the books. Here's what you may have missed. Elliot Tyler and Rex Rothschild kick things off. Despite Rex's clear size and strength advantage, Tyler's tenacity and experience made the difference. Boom's Everyman Hero picked up his first win of the season. Next, after months of asking why Sharif why, the Boomiverse was going to get the answers it deserved. Why Sharif why? Why Sharif why? Why Sharif why? First of all, when it comes to me and Jackie Lee, that was my brother. Up until he decided to gamble my career in the mouth of Evan Rivers. Then, Jackie Lee emerged from the back, looking, ready to reason with Sharif, but things seemed to quickly escalate. Just as the powder keg was ready to explode, BC Athletics Commission representative Todd Quality arrived. He had agreed to wipe $10,000 of Wild Eyes' fines in exchange for making a match of his choosing. So tonight, we want to see the Vancouver City Champion. That's you, Jackie Lee. The main event was set. Jackie Lee would defend the Vancouver City Championship against Todd Quality. Next, Liza Hall took on the gambler, Bryce Lowe. Things got out of hand when Gambler dared to lay hands on Hall family matriarch, Raven Lake. Thankfully, Liza Hall made him pay for the transgression. Post-match, Raven Lake praised her daughters and revealed that she had a new boyfriend. I'm so proud of you. They've requested the time, and we have obliged. On Friday, November 29th, Raven Lake will reveal the identity of her new boyfriend to her daughters. Who could it be? The entourage were next, welcoming newcomers Dave Rishi and Joey Tran to Boom for the first time. An unfortunate debut matchup for Rishi and Tran, as the combined might of Malibu and Mello was too much for the rookies. Post-match, Sachin Sahel tried to bridge the growing divide between his stablemates. Now, I know last month there was a little bit of a tip. The Brady. Can you believe? The Brady. I do think that, um, I do think there was a little hard on the week. Yeah! 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 That's true! I think you were going to have a party. Yeah! Yeah! I'm sorry! 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 Last month I came out here and I said some things that I regret. I blamed Malik for our losses and that was not fair. We are a team, we are a unit, and in fact, you are looking at the next Vancouver City Champion Malik Bello. For, for about 45 seconds before he hands the belt over to me, but that's okay. And from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely apologize.
between Casey Ferreira and Evan Rivers. The word spectacular would not do this match justice. Unfortunately, our competitors got too tangled up on the outside and the match was ruled a double countout. A rematch has been scheduled for Friday, November 29th at Boom 97. After intermission, Todd Quality served up a Halloween surprise for former President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln. Fresh off his title match with Jackie Lee the night before, the lonious Jovinius Harlequin was back. During the match, Abe and Ref Mark found themselves caught in Harlequin's mysterious chest and appeared to have switched bodies. This is a match you must watch in full when it's released on our YouTube channel. In the end, Abe's dominance in a boom ring continued. Kyle Fines and Taryn from Accounting arrived next only to report that Shaolin Funk was out with injury and their planned match would not be going ahead. Fines reminded us. At 12 a.m. on January 1st, 2025, children are banned from boom pro wrestling. And just as he was about to read the fine print of his plan, Ravenous Randy Myers heroically arrived to take Funk's spot on the car. Unfortunately for Myers, dastardly tactics got the better of Post-match, our cameras didn't quite catch him, but Fines and TFA spotted that same fan in the audience that they attacked in September. This time, before they could deal out any more damage, Elliot Tyler emerged, fighting back. Get the liability waivers ready, because on November 29th, it's Taryn from Accounting and Kyle Fines versus Elliot Tyler and this random girl. And then, in our main event, Jackie Lee was in tough against the monstrously oversized Todd Quality. Making matters worse, Sharif arrived mid-match to try and further tip the scales against his former tag team partner. Jackie Lee, against all odds, squeaked out the win and is still your Vancouver City Champion. Our next event is Boom 97 on Friday, November 29th, and it is sold out. After that, we've got more games on Saturday, November 30th, also sold out. Tickets go on sale for New Year's Slammin' Eve on Friday, November 29th at 10.30 p.m. Set your alarms so I can see you at ringside.